All right, I'm going to do a quick overview of the camera features, just so you understand what sort of thing is going on. Uh, camera's located here, also camera. Okay, uh, generally this is the camera. Uh, you'll notice on the background I have a checkerboard pattern. This is because the Meerkat uses uh, OpenCV as a backend for the camera, and it uses this uh, nine by six like this is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's these intersections. Nine by six. Uh, I'll post a link to a bit more technical video uh, in the comments for doing this. Um, so here you do capture image, and that's what it's trying to capture is this uh, matrix here. So say I pick this part up. The conditions. You basically put it in different parts for your fisheye, and then when you click correct fisheye, it'll adjust everything according to the uh, fisheye criteria that it finds. So it will correct your fisheye with this uh, sort of document thing. I don't actually have fisheye, so it'll vaguely do it. Uh, come on. Just need a few more pictures. Yeah, uh, just keep trying correct fisheye and see if it like actually corrects it, or else you have to uh, start again. Here, here, here. Okay, capture some more four images. Okay, so correct fisheye. That's actually sort of a disaster. Okay, and then there's correct perspective. Uh, with your mouse wheel you can zoom in and out and you'll notice that there's these little drag things so let's say I wanted to zoom in on this little dongle say this dongle was the bed of my uh, laser and I zoom in like that and I say correct perspective I get this little uh, Moshi dongle that I have and then you basically you'd set these to the edges of your bed and even if it's a little bit wrong, it'll uh, correct things. So it's a perspective correction, so it fixes uh, some different angles, but not too many things. So well, it, if it's fairly close, uh, the correct perspective should do it, and then with correct fisheye as well. So you correct for the fisheye, and then once you've corrected for fisheye, then you correct for uh, perspective like that, and now you just get the zoomed in uh, double corrected thing. Uh, this wheel here thing is uh, frame rate, in case your camera is slow or something, and you say you only want to capture one frame every couple seconds or however many, or go 24 frames a second. Uh, export snapshot uh, will send a snapshot back here, so this is actually the image. Uh, if we stretch it in big, you can see uh, that's the image that I captured from my camera. Uh, if we do update image, this does the background image. So say uh, say I actually have this image here, I put this uh, toilet paper here. Uh, don't worry about that grab select, it'll be there in 6.1. Uh, and so you'd know, you'd know where your material is and then you put it over your material. And so you could load up camera, update your snapshot, and when you change things, and then put it to where it's supposed to be on your snapshot, and then hit go. Or, uh, yeah. And so it will execute like that. So the basic functions in camera are uh, the export, uh, the update image, which does the background image, the export snapshot which uh, sends a picture to your background so if you wanted to take a picture of something for some reason or if the uh, manipulations of images get better and you could capture it you know just through your camera uh, then detect distortions and calibration that's only for the uh, checkerboard pattern so it'll capture checkerboard pattern things and use that to fix your uh, fisheye. So we're starting again, correct fisheye. Hey, that's actually not too terrible. 
I mean, it's a little bit wonky if your paper's not straight, but then you get this. Uh, these things are to set your perspective, so you would put them at the very edges of your uh, bed so that you could properly capture uh, your bed's location. And then when you correct the perspective, it will do all the necessary things to make this into something e equal to your bed. So even if you're at a weird angle or whatever, it should do the perspective correction there. Uh, there's also uh, reset fisheye resets per perspective. So if you wanted to, so if you captured something weird and you wanted to get rid of it, you can do that. Uh, there's also several cameras, so say if you're on a laptop and you want to use the camera you actually plugged in rather than your laptop camera, you can do it like that. I don't have another camera set up, so that doesn't do anything. Uh, so yeah, uh, frame rate, uh, distortions, uh, send it to your thing, select your stuff. It uses OpenCV as a back end, and you need to get this uh, OpenCV checkerboard pattern to uh, calibrate it fine, but that's like all the required steps. Uh, sorry, there's not better uh, explanations and demos online yet. It's uh, it's something that's being worked on. But so uh, yeah, thanks for watching.